Welcome to this Windows channel and um, I decided to use a um, phishing scam that I've received through email to kind of demonstrate to everybody what a phishing scam is all about and how to recognize the key features of um, you know what's the phishing scam versus the real thing because one of the biggest problems is how do you know the real thing and the phishing scam is there a difference because it's sometimes difficult, the pages are often the same. And I'm going to give you a great example today. Starts with an email that I've received here, Royal Bank of Canada. So I am a client of the um, Royal Bank of Canada. And one of the things that, of course, is something that you look at is when you got an email like this, that says, hey, alert, your account has been selected to be verified. If it's not verified within 24 hours, they're going to suspend it. So this, of course, brings what? It brings fear to anybody because there's the possibilities that you're, you know, they attack you at the most basic level. Your money might be frozen. That scares anyone. So this is one type of, you know, phishing scam that a bank can send. So any type of banks can be um, can, can have phishing scams like this. So these are sent by bad guys, by the way. Even though they spoof, look at the top here, it says RBC Royal Bank of Canada. It seems like a, a 10 thing thing. It gives you a link here at the bottom that says, hey, royalbank.com. So you got, you know, everything that you might think, well, this is okay, it's bringing me to the right place. Well, not exactly. Look very closely when I will put my mouse pointer over the link. You'll see this gives me the real place where it's sending me. Look at where it's sending me. HTTPS, that very weird, bizarre address that doesn't even have Royal Bank in it or anything. So immediately it tells you this thing is crap because it's sending you to that fake link so that's one way of knowing that what you're going where you're going to is not the real deal it's a fake now i click the link for the purpose of education for everybody and it opened and by the way it uses the sets feature in the mail app it opened this look at that royal bank now this is the fake page you know here because look at the top I'm on webbachelor.com. I'm not on Royal Bank. I'm on webbachelor.com, which is nonsense. Now, let's look at the real deal. Here is the real page. Look at that, guys. It looks the same, but look at the difference at the top. I'm on a secure royalbank.com website. As you see here, it does say royalbank.com at the top here so this is the real deal but when you actually compare it to this you don't really see a difference there's a slight difference here on the bottom right but apart from that you know really looks the same but you can make the difference this brings me to this weird webbachelor.com website where the other one which is the real one, brings me to royalbank.com, the real site. So there are differences that you can actually see between the fake and the real websites. And this is how you can easily avoid phishing scams because they will always bring you to these fake websites and the best of all, without even clicking, just hovering your mouse pointer over any URL will pop up its real place where it's sending you, which is a nonsense. It's a, you know, and last but not least, if you get something like this in your mail, okay, uh, first of all, two things you can do. You can just delete it and that's it. Uh, one thing that I often will tell everybody, look at the bank's website. Uh, what are the rules if you have a phishing email? They often have an email you can forward this email to. You click the forward button, you send it to the um, phishing scam. 
I believe in their case, it's like fishing at royalbank.com or something like that. Um, but you know, you can help them in actually flagging this website as fast as possible so other people don't get scammed by sending or forwarding a copy of the email to the, the bank site at the email that they have for phishing attempts. And um, last but not least, if you really, really are wondering if it could be true or not, instead of clicking the link, and do not never click any links of any banks like this, simply open your web browser and simply at the top of your web browser, go to the URL that you have for that bank, Royal, you know, bank.com and so on, and, and go directly to the website by yourself. Do not search it in Google necessarily, although it could be okay. You know, make sure you go to the real bank website. Um, I know that Royal Bank has a, a abbreviated rbc.com also. So, uh, you know, make sure that you go to the right place by yourself or call on the phone their phone number and say, hey, I got that email thing. And uh, they're immediately going to tell you, no, no, that's fraud. Don't do anything about it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of phishing scams using a real phishing scam that I received today through email. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.